Hey guys, Ottawork Bum here, and I'm going to give this camera one more try. I think what I'm doing is holding my thumb over the microphone. I didn't realize where it was located, and the sound quality hasn't been great. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I try my best not to have a real job, so I try to get multiple streams of income here and there when I can, especially over the winter when uh, I don't have much going on out in the, out in the garden and stuff. Um, some of you guys have watched my videos, you know that I buy out the contents of estates and I'll buy and sell stuff at flea markets and yard sales. Um, uh, and I've done the, I used to do it a lot, I don't do it anymore, but the uh, storage auctions. And since the TV shows, they kind of killed it for it, for everybody. Um, so in the process of that, I end up getting a lot of cell phones here and there. And if I can't sell them, sometimes they're broken, sometimes I don't have the right chargers. Uh, a lot of times they're reported lost or stolen, so they can't be activated. Um, so I, I save them up, just like I do the uh, computer boards and stuff, um, with the intent to pull the pull the gold out of them. I've never done it. Uh, I've broken them up like this before, and I, 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 what I end up doing, I just end up throwing it in a coffee can, and or or I actually have a few coffee cans of it now. So one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and do the um, do the acid separation, do the next step on these, let these soak. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos and, and checking out certain ways to do it. I don't even know what the gold is and what it isn't on these. I just know that this stuff, you know, anything on the boards that looks gold is gold. Um, as far as stuff like this, I'm not sure if that's gold or brass or what, or just gold plated or, or what the deal is. I know it's not solid gold, but I would imagine that it's gold plated. Um, so, anything with a bit of gold or gold color on it, I pull aside, and I will eventually do a video when I get a chance to uh, figure out how to do it, um, especially probably in the spring, because I'd want to do this outside. I will, uh, I'll do a video on the, on, on letting it soak in, in the acids. Um, but right now, I, I have about, I don't know, 30, 30 or 40 phones that I will break apart. This is the this is probably about 12 or 13 of them. Um, I also throw batteries out, and I'll save those aside. The lithium batteries, I don't know. I don't know if those eventually will be worth something or not, or if they're if they're a sellable item. And then, uh, according to the gate to the uh, videos that I've been watching, um, the screens, the LCD screens, those have something in them that are actually. Um, uh, worth selling or worth keeping, so they don't take up much space. So I started keeping those. Um, I also have computer boards and stuff that I've that I've saved. So I will pull all the gold off these. Um, that is Adam all together. I guess it's all the same stuff. So um, anything that's gold colored, I've been keeping. So uh, I know a lot of it's on plastic, but I believe these are just gold plated tips on all the uh, on all the connections. So I'll do a video on them and. Uh, once I once I pull them all together and, and get some good weather, get outside, let them soak. I believe you only let them soak for a day or two, and it separates all this all this gold off the uh, off the boards, um, along with some of the other crud as well. But um, there's more steps than that. You have to actually do another chemical process afterwards, which I'm not too keen on right now. But at least I can I can get it to the, get the flake the, the gold foil off all this stuff. And uh, and go from there. Um, so I also, yeah, I also anything that's metal I pull off. There's a lot of aluminum and stuff in there, and you know I'll just add it to my piles. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt to to separate that out as well. It's easy enough with a magnet, and uh, you know so I guess. But that's what I do, and I just mark them when I when I get them. I mark them dead. You know if I can't use them or if they they won't charge or what the deal is. But there's some nice phones in here that would probably bring 60, 80 bucks on eBay if they were usable. But when they get reported stolen and lost or whatever, um, the uh, the the companies won't let you activate them. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure there's a hack or something that you can do. But I don't know how to do it. And I'm not really that ambitious. But if you can sell a phone like this for for 20 bucks or 15 dollars or whatever, if it works. I think there's more money in the fifteen dollars than there is in the gold. Uh, although some of the YouTube videos that I've seen say that it takes fifty or sixty phones to equal one ounce of gold. So
So if that's the case, then you know, if gold, I, I always round gold off to around twelve twelve hundred dollars an ounce right now. So if that's the case, then uh, you know this little box of phones with this stuff here is uh, it's worth a thousand dollars or so, or, or maybe maybe more. Um, if that's the case, I'd be surprised, but that's that's <laughs> word around the campfire on the YouTube videos I've seen is uh, especially the older ones. Uh, these the, I guess these you know these older ones here they have more gold in them than the newer ones. But regardless, I will um, I'll do a video when I when I get it all in the in the acids and figure out how to do that. But I'm in the collecting phase right now and. and go from there. Now some of the videos, especially on these these memory boards here, they take and snip the fingers off that, the gold the gold pieces. Um, but if you look all in here, uh, there's more gold than that, so I mean it doesn't take up that much space. I wouldn't imagine it would be that much harder to soak the whole board uh, and get every last bit off than, than to um, you know snip that stuff off. But I mean, maybe they're doing it for a reason. So again, I'm I'm in the research and collection phase right now. So I will pull the rest of these phones apart. I'm just sitting here doing it while I'm watching TV. It's not not a big deal. I have more time than money right now. So it is easier for me to sit here and watch TV and pass the time and just break these apart while I'm sitting here than uh, than not do anything at all. Um, I'm just doing this. And it's another 20 degree day out here in New Hampshire, and. Uh, you know, what what else am I going to do? I can't do anything in the garden for a few more months. Um, I might as well do something like this. So, that's what I've been up to. That's what that's what an out-of-work bum does during the day, I guess, in the wintertime. Just finding stuff to do. So, I will, uh, I'll check back in later when I get the acids. And, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any tips for me, let me know. Um, the, the baby rabbits are doing well. They're about a week old right now. And, um... Uh, I just I was able to get the uh, the other ones bred with my mail, and the quails are still doing good. They're just sitting in the garage waiting for spring so I can build them a better a better um, coop. Um, and uh, and again, like I said, I I want to start doing uh, at least one or two videos a week and start getting back into the YouTube community here. So thanks for watching, and I will uh, stay in touch. Thanks. Bye bye.